Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the 2012 graduates of Clarenville campus. Please stand for the singing of the Ode to Newfoundland. You may be seated. <laughs> Good evening, invited guests, 
faculty and staff of College of the North Atlantic, fellow graduates, family, friends, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Gorvin Greening and I am a graduate of the Business Administration Accounting Program. I will be your Master of Ceremonies for this evening. Today marks a milestone in the lives of many. Let us sit back and enjoy it to the fullest. We have all worked very hard to get here. I would now like to call upon Maisie Keynes, Campus Administrator of the Clarenville Campus for the welcome. Thank you, Gorbin. Graduates, family members, board members, and invited guests, on behalf of the faculty and staff of Clarenville Campus, I welcome you to our 2012 graduation ceremony. And I thank you for taking the time to come out this evening to celebrate the achievements of our students. Graduates, tonight is your night. Tonight is all about you. So, how do you feel? <laughs> I was afraid I wasn't going to get much noise because I, I was ready to say, we know you can be noisier than that. So, I'm glad I got a good response from you. Well, you've earned it and you certainly deserve it. All the attention tonight is certainly well deserved. You should be very proud. We're all very proud of you. Now, you're all excited because tonight you're sitting there thinking, well, my schooling is almost over. Let's not forget how excited the moms and dads are in the audience tonight as well. And they're excited for two reasons. First, because you are graduating and rightfully so, they're very proud. But there's another reason that they're celebrating because you're about to start earning your own way and they're gonna have a little extra money to start spending on themselves. And I bet you some of your parents are already planning that trip down south. Graduates, your true education is about to begin as you are about to gain experience in your chosen careers. It is through this experience that you will continue to learn and grow as professionals and to set new goals. Keep your dreams big, because it's gonna be these dreams that will help you achieve what's important to you in life. You're entering the workforce at a very exciting time. The labor market forecast for the entire country is very promising. And again, this province is leading the way. Government of Newfoundland and Labrador's recently released Labor Market Outlet Outlook 2020 report provides a detailed overview of the workforce supply and demand for the next eight years for this province. For today's students, that future is very bright. And I quote, it is anticipated that total employment in this province will grow by 2.8% from 2011 to 2020, representing 7,700 new jobs. That's not existing jobs, that's new jobs. Now, when you couple that with the 70,000 anticipated job openings in this province through retirements and deaths over the same period, you're looking at approximately 80,000 job vacancies in the next eight years, and that's gonna be jobs for all of you. So your future is very bright. The report also notes that over 75% of these job openings will be among sales and service, business, finance, administrative occupations, trades, and health occupations. And the great news for us at Clarenville Campus is that all of the programs at Clarenville Campus are represented in all of those fields. The Construction Sector Council's annual Construction Looking Forward report also forecasts a nine-year scenario of workforce supply and demand. And again, I quote, Atlantic Canada's construction industry will see moderate to record growth over the next few years. So what does that mean for you graduating from the carpenter or steam fitter pipe fitter program? 
The breakdown for this province in both of these trades ranks at a level three, four, or five over the next nine years, meaning the labor force for these areas will remain in excess to steady growth. For those of you who may choose to work outside of the province, the forecast is equally as good for provinces like Alberta, Saskatchewan, and British Columbia. During this same period, an estimated 17,000 construction workers are expected to retire. That's another 26% of the region's current construction labor force. For our business and office administration students, your future is just as bright. The average age of the public sector employees right now is 45. The retirement rate for the next five years is going to be 25% with an additional 5% turnover rate. This is going to translate into many job opportunities in administration in your public service. And many of those jobs will be in your public college. So who knows, you could find yourself as being a College of the North Atlantic employee within a short period of time, and you may even be sitting up here one day. And this doesn't even include the opportunities that's coming up outside of the public sector service for you. The labor market 2020 identifies the areas of business, finance, and administration. Among those areas that will have the strongest recruitment pressures, or strong and above average prospects for the next eight years. So your future is extremely bright. And for the graduates of our ABE program, these are very important statistics for you as you start to plan the next phase in your career path. But always remember, those of us here at College of the North Atlantic are here to help you guide you through any career decisions you wanna to continue to make. And of course, engineering technology students, you are definitely gonna be challenged with many employment opportunities with industrial developments like Hebron, Valley Inco, Lower Churchill. There has never been a better time in this province to be in the trades and technology fields than today. As a College of the North Atlantic graduate and a member of a distinct alumni group, you hold significant recognition within this province and nationally that will benefit you in a workforce right now bursting in opportunities. We know you're gonna to continue to rise to many challenges and you're gonna to continue to do us proud. I also wanna take a moment to thank the faculty and the staff because they too play a very important role in your success. And I know they're all quite rewarded tonight in your accomplishments as well. And I know you as students are quite thankful for the support that they have given you over the past year or two when you needed it the most. And I know you thank them for pushing you when you needed it the it the most, especially on those Friday mornings after a Thursday night bash at the local pubs. A special thanks to students, faculty, and staff that helped organize another great graduation ceremony. For all of us, graduation day is the best day of the year. So finally, graduates, you're now about, about to embark on a new journey. Some of you are going to start that journey very close to home. Others are gonna go miles away. There is one thing that you will all have in common, and that's an education that will provide you with unlimited opportunities. I would like to leave you with these few wise words. On this, your graduation day, I'll stand and give cheer to honor you for all the work you've done to get you here. As we rise and give applause, be sure don't forget that learning is not over as your future plans are met. May you always be a listener and learn from all you meet. Always keep a student's spirit and your life will be complete. Congratulations from all of us.
Thank you, Maisie. I would now like to invite Mr. John Hutchings, Vice President of Finance and Administration, to bring greetings on behalf of the college. Thank you, uh, Maisie. I think we both cheated from the same website for our uh, speech. So if there are similar similarities, I hope our teacher won't notice it and give us bad marks. Uh, good afternoon. Let me start by saying welcome. First to the faculty and staff of the college, those here and those who could not be in attendance. Thank you for your commitment to our students. Without your effort and dedication, this room might not be as full. To our welcome guests, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to be with us to celebrate this occasion. Your presence at this event is indicative of the importance of today, and it is appreciated. To the family and friends of those graduating, thank you. I know you're all proud of your sons and daughters and family members or friends or significant others who are receiving their certificates and diplomas today. But know that each of you has played a role in helping your loved ones to reach this milestone. Graduating from college is a significant achievement, one in which you have all played a part. And finally, to our graduates, the class of 2012, and the reasons we're all here, congratulations to you all. I'm sure there were times during your studies when you thought this day would never arrive, yet here you are. You've successfully completed your program and are about to embark on another journey, about to enter another stage of life. Some of you will leave here today and go on to work in your chosen fields. Some of your classmates probably already have. Some of the people aren't here, they're probably going to work. Others may be planning to avail of many partnerships CNA has with uh, universities, such as Memorial, and continue to work towards a degree. The college has been an integral part of this province for nearly 50 years. We've grown with this province, and many of you, and, you, uh, and many of you, pardon me, <clears throat> and yours during this time. Learning is just not something we start and finish like an exam. It's an ongoing and integral part of our lives, and we encourage you to keep striving forward and looking at new ways to expand your expertise, your passions, and yourself. Reach out and let us know what your needs are along the way, and we'll do our best to help you. For many of you, this is the first step towards furthering yourself and developing a career path. For others, it's been an opportunity to reinvent yourself in another career and head in a different direction. Whichever path you've chosen, know that your status as a graduate of College of the North Atlantic will open many doors. The training you've received at this institution is highly regarded by employers. You can find graduates of the college working in virtually every industry in the province and throughout the world. Seven out of ten jobs in Canada require post-secondary certificate or diploma, and the college is exceptionally qualified to provide a skilled workforce to industries. Throughout the province, we regularly meet with industry representatives to determine their current and future needs. We develop training that meets those needs and offer it to you, our students. Now you've, been, now you've become part of that workforce and those industries that we collaborate with each year. Regardless of the program you completed, your skills are in demand. There are large-scale projects that are creating new jobs and new industries within the province, and Maisie named them. Uh, we have Hebron, uh, Valley Inco, and perhaps Muskrat Falls, depending on how it plays out, will lead this province to further prosperity. The spin-offs from these projects combined with retiring baby boomer, boomers and our fast-growing economy means employment prospects are on the rise across all sectors. Given that the majority of new jobs being created in Canada require a certificate or diploma, the skills you now possess, I don't know if there's any, ever been a better time in our uh, history to be a graduate of this college. Your future is promising, your options are many, and when you leave here today and you begin that new journey, be sure to seize those opportunities. You've laid the foundation, now go build the future. On behalf of me and the entire college executive team, I wish you continued success and hope that you will keep in touch and let us know how you're doing. You came here as students, you're leaving here as alumni. You're part of the CNA family and the doors will always be open to you. Thank you once again, and congratulations to all.
Thank you, Mr. Hutchings. We will now have the presentation of the diplomas and awards. Good evening. My name is Denise White, and I'm an instructor in the Adult Basic Education Program. And it is my pleasure to begin this evening by presenting to you the graduates of the School of Academics and Applied Arts. The first group of graduates are from the Adult Basic Education Program. And I now invite Denise Organ, Program Instructor, to assist Maisie Keynes, Campus Administrator, in the presentation of the scrolls. I would also like to remind the graduates, as they cross the stage and receive their scrolls, to pause for a moment for the turning of the tassel that signifies that you are now a graduate. Trevor Crew. <laughs> Mitchell Greening. Adrian Han. <laughs> Crystal Humby. Jeremy Miller. Jeremy, Jeremy is also the recipient of the ABE Student Award given to him this year for showing the most improvement in the ABE class. Sheena Party. Garrett Strong. <laughs> and Jessica Young. Congratulations to the adult basic education class. The second program in the School of Academic and Applied Arts is a new one to our campus, the Comprehensive Arts and Science Transition. I now invite Samantha Downey, program instructor, to assist Maisie with the presentation of the scrolls. Gina Butt. <laughs> Shannon Chapman. <laughs> Shannon is also the recipient of the Exceptional Student Award. Christopher Goss. Christopher is the recipient of the College of the North Atlantic Entrance Scholarship. And Michelle Saunders.
congratulations to the graduates of the Comprehensive Arts and Science Transition Program. I would now like to introduce Rick Martin, Instructional Coordinator, to present the graduates for the School of Business and Information Technology. Thank you, Denise. I have the pleasure of presenting the graduates from the School of Business and Information Technology. Under the School of Business and Information Technology, we have two programs at Clarenville campus, Business Administration and Office Administration. I will now call on Angela Giles, Program Instructor, to assist Maisie Keynes with the presentation of scrolls to the Business Administration graduates. Certificate option, Brandon Penny. <laughs> Accounting diploma option, Robin Adams. Melinda Burns. <laughs> Ashley Brewery. <laughs> Sorry. Caitlin Butt. Gorvin Greening. <laughs> Gorvin is also the recipient of the Paul McGee Memorial Achievement Award, the CGA Scholarship, the Exceptional Student Award, and the Student of the Year Award. Sherelle Penny. <laughs> Erica Reed. Sherry Smith. <laughs> Sherry is also the recipient of the CIBC Community Leadership Achievement Award and the Student Leadership Award. Now I will present the Human Resource Management graduates. Sonia Doran. <laughs> Sonia is the recipient of the Exceptional Student Award and the Wall of Success Scholarship.
Shana Hoskins. Robin Little. <laughs> Susan Rideout. Kyle Tesler. <laughs> Beaten Windsor. Business of Men graduates, Clarenville campus. Now I will call on Sylvia Belman, program instructor, to assist Maisie with the presentation of the strolls to the Office of Administration graduates. Brenda Avery. <laughs> Lisa Curl. Wendy Goss. <laughs> Tara Kane. Terror is the recipient of the Exceptional Student Award. <laughs> Pamela Lambert. Rochelle Oford. <laughs> 
Samantha White. Samantha is the recipient of the Keyboarding Skills Award. Ladies and gentlemen, the Office, Office Administration graduates. I would now like to present to you the graduates from the School of Industrial Trades. I will begin with the Carpenter Entry Program and I would invite Peter Troke to assist Maisie with the presentations. Nicholas Ackerman. He's not there, is it? Oh, okay. Too early. <laughs> Christopher Alcorn Otto. Jeffrey Dusablon. <laughs> Tyler Ellis. Andrew Lee. <laughs> Joshua Ludi. Ryan Matcham. <laughs> Christopher McCarthy. Stephen McDonald. Christian Mugridge. Tristan Norris. <laughs> David Norris. David is also the recipient of the Exceptional Student Award.
Erica Ruley. Erica is the recipient of the Fry Family Foundation College of the North Atlantic Leadership Achievement Award. She's the recipient of the Exceptional Student Award and the College of the North Atlantic Entrance Scholarship. Tyson Slade. Justin Stagg. Colin Stefanik. Congratulations, graduates of the Carpenter Entry Program. I would now like to introduce the graduates from the Steam Fitter Pipe Fitter Entry Program. I invite Glenn Hobbs, Program Instructor, to assist Maisie with the presentation of the scrolls. James Abbott. Tyler Campbell. Brandon Collins. Brandon's is the recipient of the Exceptional Student Award. Oh, yes, yeah. Brandon Harvey. Brandon, Brandon is the recipient of the Chevron Industrial Trade Scholarship. Brandon Hobbs. Cody Hines. James Hines. <laughs> Brandon Hines. 
Brandon King. Kyle LaCosta. <laughs> Sheldon Manning. Jonathan Mercer Miller. <laughs> Ryan Merrigan. Brandon Price. <laughs> Dylan Reed. Matthew Reed. <laughs> Shane Smith. Jason Snow. <laughs> John Fay. And Dylan White. Congratulations to the Steam Fitter Pipe Fitter Entry Program.
for this academic year, there are approximately, approximately 145 graduates who have completed their course requirements through distributed learning. These graduates will be attending graduation at their nearest campus. We have the pleasure of recognizing a few of these graduates here this evening. I now call on Teresa Pittman, Chair of Office of Distributed Learning, to assist Maisie with the presentation of the strolls. They're from a distance. <laughs> Jordan Penny. I meant to say Jordan Penny, Business Administration, General Option. Office Administration, Executive Option. Nikita Farrell. Kasia Roberts. I'm not sure. Information Management, Crystal Walters. No, I don't think she's here. Thank you, Teresa. I will now ask John Hutchings, Vice President, Finance and Administration, and Maisie Keynes, Campus Administrator, to assist with the presentation of these special awards. These awards are being presented to the 2011 graduates. The President's Medal of Excellence is awarded to one graduate in each program who attained the highest academic standing. Patricia Cave, Business Administration Accounting. Trevor Miller, steam fitter, pipe fitter.
Constance Giffington, Office Administration, Executive Option. These are the recipients of the President's Medals. Don't go anywhere, John. Don't go anywhere. At this time, it's a real honor for me to present the Governor's General Medal. This medal is awarded to the graduate who achieved the highest academic standing at Clarenville campus. The winner is Patricia Cave, Business Administration Accounting Option. I think that's it for me. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the valedictorians for the 2011 and 2012 school year at Clarenville campus. Shannon Chapman is a graduate of the Comprehensive Arts and Science College Transition Program, and Erica Ruley is a graduate of the Carpentry Program. At this time, I would like to ask Shannon and Erica to come forward to deliver their valedict valedictory address. Ladies and gentlemen, special guests, faculty, and staff, and of course our fellow graduates. It is both an honor and privilege to represent our fellow students on this very special occasion. We are gathered here today to recognize our achievements, and we are grateful that you are here to help us celebrate our accomplishments. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the graduating class of 2012 at the Clarenville campus of the College of the North Atlantic. We are a group of dedicated and devoted individuals bonded together through our education, training, and experiences. Though our paths to get here have all been different, our goals are much the same, and today we have reached a milestone. This journey we have embarked on would not have been possible without the support of all you here today. To every one of you, we thank you. To our parents, thank you for your love and support. We appreciate the sacrifices you have made for us and the opportunities and resources you provided for us to help us realize our potential. We realize that our success is your success, and we hope that we have made you proud. To our friends and family, thank you for your kind words and encouragements. Believing in us and encouraging us has given us the strength through the difficult times and keep us on track when we needed your support. To our instructors, faculty, and staff, you have inspired us to believe in ourselves. You have taught us that through hard work and dedication, we can do anything. You have challenged us and driven us to reach new heights and realize our potential. You have shown your commitment to us as students through your patience and support. And you have given us the necessary tools to go out into the world and succeed. For this, we thank you. We can also thank each other. As fellow students, we have relied on each other from day one for support, friendship, and the occasional answer to a test question. 
The friendships that have started right here may last a lifetime, and though our paths may lead us in very different directions, we will always be connected through our time spent here at the College of the North Atlantic. This is a campus we can be proud of. We have worked together, learned together, and laughed together. We have a lot of fond memories here, from our teachers getting arrested. Nice to see them back, by the way. <laughs> to our winter carnival with games, tug of war, and of course, the pie throwing contest. The provincial sports tournament involving all of the CNA campuses across Newfoundland. Our campus fundraising events where we raise money for breast cancer, AIDS research, and local charities. And also congratulations to our students in free enterprise team who have rallied the entire community of Clarenville together in their goal of donating 10,000 pounds of food to our local food bank. Yeah. These students have given back as much as they have received. Not only are they gaining an education, they're also giving back to our community. Countless hours have been spent educating children's groups, and for the first time, this year they are being recognized nationally by ACE, the Advancing Canadian Entrepreneurship for Financial Literacy. Not only is this a prestigious honor, but the work done at this campus also opens up excellent opportunities for future College of the North Atlantic students. We are entering the workforce at an exciting and prosperous time for Newfoundland. As Maisie has already said, the future looks bright for employment in the fields that we have chosen. All of our hard work and sacrifices are about to pay off as we are entering the workforce at a time when opportunities abound. Graduates, we will be now leaving here and finding our own path. It will not be a path without difficulties, and the road we choose will not always be easy. Be proud of who you are and what you have achieved and move through this life with courage and optimism. Go out and find your place in the world and never settle for anything less than you want or deserve. We are fortunate to have been surrounded by a group of wonderful people from faculty, family, and peers. We have all contributed to the foundation of our future. Draw on the knowledge we have gained from them and rely on the wisdom that has been bestowed upon us to pull you through any hurdles you may encounter in the future. And though we will be leaving the classroom, never miss an opportunity to learn something new. As Gandhi once said, education is the key to changing the world. And we hope each and every one of you here today takes the opportunity to leave this world a little better than you found it. Graduates, today we celebrate all that we have worked so hard to achieve. Tomorrow, we will look forward to the future. But tonight, right now, let's celebrate the moment, this moment that we have all been waiting for. We have all worked hard to get here, and we've earned it. To the graduating class of 2012, we wish you all success and happiness. Please enjoy a safe and happy graduation, and best of luck to all of you in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Shannon and Erica. I now ask that you all rise for the singing of O Canada. Please remain in your seats after O Canada for the recession of the graduates.
That brings to a close the formal part of our ceremony. Please be reminded that the graduation supper at the Clarenville Middle School gym at, at 7 p.m. for those of you who have previously purchased tickets. There will also be a dance later tonight at my rec room, formerly known as Jack's, for anybody wishing to attend. IDs will be required. A reminder for guests to please remain seated once again for the recession of the graduates and faculty. The path from air on in is very different for each of us. Some will go into the workforce while others will continue with their education. We have worked hard to get to this day and I personally wish you all the best of luck with whatever it is that you do in the future. To signify our accomplishments, could all the graduates please rise. On the count of three, let's toss our hats to all the great friends we have made, all the achievements we have accomplished, and to an amazing future that is to come. One, two, three. Thank you, and we will see you at the supper.
remember caring for an hour or so Started crying and I couldn't stop myself I started running but there's nowhere to run to I sat down on the street, took a look at myself Said where you going man, you know the world is headed for hell Say your goodbyes if you got someone you can say good Now it's over for me and it's over for you 